Hello and welcome to a new studio vlog. Uh, I've just got a few clips here of my journey to work and on the train I thought you might enjoy it. Uh, it's got some really nice landscapes in there of the kind of farming areas that I see on the train. So on my days off I like to go and into our art studio um, and I just thought I'd show a few clips of me getting ready in the morning. Uh, you get to see the wonderful guardian of the landing, giraffe. I still don't have a name for them so if you have any ideas I would really appreciate it. And now I'll be showing you how I make my coffee in the morning because I can't function as a human being without it. So I got an exciting delivery today. Uh, I decided because uh, it's recently been my birthday, I would treat myself to some artwork off Etsy. And in this seller is called Sugar Mochi. And I'm just so excited to open this. Uh, it came really fast in the post. And uh, <laughs> I definitely am a sucker for like not wanting to rip any packaging from anything that I ever order so I am always I always take my time peeling the tape off and making sure that I don't rip anything um, I just love the packaging is so pretty and the beautiful sticker that they've made for their shop also oh my gosh I love this memo set that I got it's the Mount Fuji memo Pad and it's so cute. The colours are beautiful. The inks used to print this memo pad are actually vegetable inks, which I think is actually a really, really fun and creative and environmentally friendly way of printing. I absolutely love this thank you note which has the, the same Mount Fuji design as the memo notes that I got. It's just such a nice touch to add to the orders and I really appreciate it, it makes me smile. Oh my gosh, this print is beautiful. Wait, I don't know whether I ordered this one or not. Oh my gosh, it's a freebie. Oh, thank you so much, that actually means so much. It's so beautiful. I mean, if I'd seen this print in the shop, I would have definitely ordered this. I love the gingham background and just the pinks with that kind of matcha green just looks so stunning. So I bought the postcard square set and I got this wonderful, beautiful whale shark. I actually bought it for my partner because he's a huge fan of sharks, but the colors of this are stunning. 
These postcards are actually much more bigger than I was expecting them to be, uh, which is a really happy surprise. This one's called the Japanese Bridge and um, I really love the contrast of the red bridge with the like the pink cherry blossom petals and also the, the colours. Ah, oh, this is stunning. Oh my gosh, the clouds have smiley faces. Isn't that, that's just so cute. I love it. The detail on this is incredible. I mean, it must have taken ages to get all of this detail. And I just love the contrast of the blue sky. Ah, oh, that's stunning. And of course, I love the Mount Fuji design, so I had to get a postcard of the design. And I love that it matches the thank you note as well with my memo pad. Oh, absolutely adore all of the products that I've got from Sugar Mochi. Um, I just wanted to thank Sugar Mochi for adding in that freebie limited edition stunning print. Uh, before I start any artwork or any process of the day, I do like to write in my journal and just kind of update what I've been going in. I kind of use it as a diary as well. It's nice to record everything that goes on. I'm really happy with how this uh, new journal layout for the week went. I used the Sugar Mochi Mount Fuji memo pad and it looks so cute, especially with all of the pink and blue accents that I've done with all the other different uh, papers I used. So I went for a walk with my partner and we always seem to find spaces that have kind of very relaxing flowy river scenes. So I hope you enjoy these. So I had this old canvas uh, that I'd drawn some anime character on. I can't even remember where they're from. Um, for uh, all the purpose of painting, but I never got round to it. It was quite a few years ago. Uh, and I found it while sorting out some of my old art stuff. So I thought instead, because the canvas was a little battered and a little tatty in places, uh, I would make it into a pin canvas so I because I've got so many pins that I collect. Um, it would be nice to display them all and I find that canvases are really good places to display the pins because they kind of stand on their own so you don't necessarily have to hang them but you can hang them if you want. I just um, I thought I'd go in with like a blue themed kind of cloudy sky. 
Hopefully in a future video, I might actually do a sole video based on my pin boards and my pin collections. Uh, hopefully that's something that you would like to see in video form. Um, I can always just throw little snippets into my vlogs, but I thought I have so many pins and I've painted a few uh, custom pin boards that I probably have enough in there to make a whole video by itself. Similar in the kind of kawaii stationery. I just like to collect things. I just see the shiny things and I want the shiny things. <laughs> I'd like to know what kind of fandoms and themed pins that people enjoy to collect. So uh, please leave a comment below and just any fandoms or any kind of theme, flowers, kind of general collection based pins that people collect. I'm always really curious to find that out. Um, and hopefully we have some common interests as well in pins. I. I like to collect pretty much, I have so many fandoms and I'm into like anime, like TV programs, films, pretty much anything. I have a lot of Pokemon pins, uh, some by uh, Etsy sellers and some official Pokemon pins. Um, oh, just too many to think of, but hopefully I'll be able to cover that in a different video. I could wa waffle on for quite a while about pins. And also I would really like to branch out in my Etsy store eventually when I get a bit more income from it into making my own enamel pins. Uh, I just need to find a solid design that I really like. So I'm thinking maybe a rainbow goose pin could work, but we, we'll see it in the future. I nearly forgot to mention that the paints that I'm using for this canvas is uh, Americana paints. Uh, I think they're mostly based in, a, you can mostly get them in America, uh, but obviously I, I picked them up in the UK, uh, but they're just really good. They're matte paints, so they when they dry, they're completely matte. Uh, I actually prefer painting with matte mediums. Uh, that's why I love Poscas so much, because they dry matte and they're just so easy to get a nice opaque colour quickly down onto the canvas or whatever you're um, utilising as a canvas. Uh, I'm not really sure whether I like this canvas or not. I think I made it a little bit too busy to be a pin display, but I'm still going to try and use it. And if I don't like it, then I can always just paint over it again. That's the best thing about paints, especially these paints, is the opaqueness of them can just easily wipe the canvas clean. <laughs> I do also think that adding the white sparkly effects didn't help it. I was hoping it would help it, but it didn't. But oh well, that's just how things go. And now we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, my third studio vlog and hopefully I'm improving a little bit. And if I'm not, then I will try for the next videos. <laughs> but yeah, I thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. Hope you have a good rest of the week. Bye.